Gospel of Luke 6, 6 to 11. Reflection, Jesus heals the withered hand. Imagine being in the presence of Jesus in the synagogue on a Sabbath day. The air is thick with expectation. Among the crowd is a man whose right hand is withered, a disability that has likely left him feeling marginalized and helpless. As Jesus begins to teach, the scribes and Pharisees watch him closely, but not with admiration. Their focus is on catching him in an act that they could use to accuse him, especially if he dared to heal on the Sabbath, a day of rest according to the law. But Jesus, with his heart full of compassion, knows their intentions. He sees beyond the trap they've set and focuses instead on the man who needs healing. He calls the man forward and asks a question that cuts to the core of what it means to live a life of faith. Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? With this question, Jesus challenges not only the rigid understanding of the law, but also the very hearts of those who would use it to withhold compassion. The man, obedient to Jesus' call, stands before the crowd. Then Jesus commands him, stretch out your hand. In that moment, the withered hand is restored, made whole again. This powerful act of healing shows that God's mercy transcends human rules and that doing good, saving life, and showing compassion are always in alignment with God's will, even on the Sabbath. Central Message The heart of this gospel passage is the power of compassion over rigid religiosity. Jesus teaches us that love and mercy are at the core of God's law. Rules and traditions, while important, must never stand in the way of doing good and bringing life where there is suffering. Welcome to our channel. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. Jesus shows that it is always lawful to do good, to heal, and to restore, no matter the day or the situation. His question challenges us to reflect on our own lives. Are we more concerned with following traditions and rules than with showing love and kindness to those in need? Insight Jesus is not just concerned with physical healing, but with the healing of hearts. He confronts the Pharisees' cold, legalistic approach, exposing their lack of empathy. In doing so, he reveals that true faith is lived out through acts of kindness, justice, and mercy. This gospel passage teaches us that God's law is not a set of restrictions meant to hold us back, but a guide to help us love others as he loves us. Takeaway The transformation in this story is not just in the man's hand, but in the way Jesus reframes what it means to live a life of faith. We are called to prioritize love and compassion over legalism. In our own lives, how often do we cling to rules or social expectations, afraid to step out in kindness because it doesn't fit the norm? Jesus invites us to break free from these limitations and to seek opportunities to do good, to heal, and to restore, no matter the cost. In moments when we are faced with a choice, whether to act with compassion or remain passive, let us remember that God always calls us to do good, to save life, and to bring restoration to those around us, as we live out this calling, our lives will be transformed, and we will reflect the heart of Christ in a world that desperately needs His healing touch. May we always seek the presence and guidance of the Holy Spirit in our lives and all that we do. And may God bless us today and always in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.